Welcome to the Bioptimizer's Awesome Health Podcast. And now, here's your host, Wade T. Lightheart. Want awesome health? How about doubling your energy? With our free awesome health course, you can get a new video and lesson every single day for 84 straight days. The course covers everything from optimizing your digestion, nutrient intake, correct health issues, including weight, skin, energy, immune system, and so much more. The course could easily be worth two or $300 for, and yet it's 100% free when you go to bioptimizer.com. That's B-I-O-P-T-I-M-I-Z-E-R-S. Dot com. Once you're there, just enter your name and email to get the first three phases of the bioptimization report. You'll get the report immediately and begin getting your video lessons each and every day from there on in. Good afternoon, good morning, and good evening wherever you are. I'm Way T. Lightheart for the Awesome Health Podcast, and I am excited and delighted today because we've got Mark I say the funk, it's his funk Roberts, but I like to think the funk because I'm a big fan of the funk. But we talked to Robert later or earlier this year, I was actually on his podcast and I, I was so impressed with what he's doing. I wanted to get into it today. Basically, we're going to talk today about health and fitness for men over 40. I'm in the over 40 crowd. And basically, this is helping men increase testosterone levels, lose weight and get into amazing shape naturally through mindset, nutrition, recovering workers. This is a huge issue. Huge, huge issue about, man, you get that little belly that doesn't go away no matter what you want, and you're not quite feeling yourself, and you're kind of, oh, what's going on? You know, you're not, you know, knocking it out like you used to, don't have the sex drive that you used to, and you're like, what's going on? Well, I'll tell you what, today we are going to talk about it with Mark. Just so you know, Mark's 50 years old. He runs the over 40 Alpha Brotherhood, and we need more Alphas. That's for sure. And his mission is to help over a million men in their 40s, 50s, and 60s and beyond regain their manhood, boost testosterone, build the best body, and live a healthy, happy, and productive life. Of course, now here's the thing. Mark's going to tell us about this. I want to hear about his story. He had a story where he was, went from 215 to, to puffy 215 to 185. We're going to find out about that. Low testosterone being overweight, he overcame that. And he's going to share that. So he's not just someone that is talking to you. He's talking with you because he's been there, done that. He's a former professional beach volleyball player, certified MMA conditioning coach, a certified master metabolic trainer, creator of the Over 40 Alpha membership, co-author of the Rapid Body Makeover, created over 100 fitness programs and eBooks, DVDs, follow along workouts, you wouldn't, wouldn't believe it. And he works with the UFC Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and athletes and fighters relations and rights articles for MMA, BJJ, and Muay Thai magazines, online fitness websites, and as part of the On It Academy. Wow, amazing. This is really incredible. You live in Toronto. That's my town that I was actually born in. Mark, it's great to have you on the show. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks, man. It's, it's Funk, actually. Funk, Funk Roberts. Mark is my, my born name, but the world knows me as Funk. I love um, it. <clears throat> thank you so much <clears throat> for being on the show, for allowing me to be on the show. I'm excited. Um, yeah, I'm excited to spread the gospel of uh, fitness for men over 40. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So, I'm, so here's the thing. I think there's a crisis going on in our society today. I was looking at some data on earlier this year. And if you take men at any age group compared to men in the seventies, there's a 30% average. This is the average testosterone drop compared to any age. So what that means is 20 year old men today have a testosterone levels of 60 year old men in the seventies. And the reality is for most of us, by the time we hit 40, that decline is real. It's tangible. Tell me about that. Tell our listeners about what is that first, how does that show up? What does it look like? How does a person feel? Maybe some of your own personal stories that, that you have or your clients. Yeah. You know, so yeah, testosterone is at the lowest it's ever been in, in modern day history, period. Um, our grandfathers had more testosterone than we did back in, you know, way back in the day. So and that's not just men over 40, but that's, you know, men, man, period. And it's crazy to me to think that 
with the advancements of, of medic, medic, medicine, technology, information, that testosterone is so low, but it also doesn't surprise me because when I look at how society perceives testosterone, like they think about big, bulky bodybuilders and you're a douchebag. And, you know, that's mm-hmm. like, that's the, the mindset of what testosterone is. And even me, us men, when we think about testosterone, we're thinking about being big and bulky. And, and that's totally, that's just a sliv, sliver of what testosterone is. Testosterone is our number one growth, number one male hormone. It is everything for us. When you have low testosterone, you're going to see belly fat. The number one thing I see, whenever I see a man walking around with belly fat, I know number one, he's got low testosterone, probably high estrogen levels. So, you know, low belly fat, um, you know, obviously your sex drive is going to be low, rectal dysfunction happens, um, your mood's going to be low, you're going to have, um, you know, fatigue, you're always going to be tired, it's very hard to build muscle when your testosterone levels are low, depression happens during that time, a lot of health ailments, you get sick a lot, your immune system's down, your everything bone loss, everything, memory, everything that you think as a male, and I'm going to start talking about the men in our 40s, 50s, 60s, that you think is related to getting old is actually related to your testosterone levels being low. And when we're younger, even though the testosterone levels are still low on average for younger guys, they still have higher testosterone levels. So they can still kind of get away with it. Right. But, But as we get older, specifically when we hit 40, 50, 60 and beyond, we cannot get away with it. And if we're not doing any things to help naturally boost our testosterone through eating and, you know, um, the type of workouts that we do and the recovery and the sleep, then we're going to start, we're going to continue to to live this way. And it's not just testosterone, but it's also the other hormones that we need to keep at bay, like cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone that we do need a little bit of it, but too much of it will kill our testosterone production. Estrogen. Estrogen is a female hormone. And yes, we do need a little bit of it, but too much. Again, you'll see it in belly fat. You'll see it in, in, in the man boobs. And you'll also see it in low testosterone. We've got to keep our insulin levels at balance. We have to keep, you know, our thyroid, you know, we need to keep that high. So the metabolism keeps going. And, um, you know, even, and even though this is not a hormone, insulin, uh, inflammation, that's really key. We got to keep that down. So as much as testosterone is our superhero he's our superman that makes us superman superman has villains heroes have mm-hmm. villains cortisol estrogen ins- insulin you know inflammation thyroid and others others are out there but so we have to think okay we got to start to change the mindset like okay i need to focus on testosterone because once you focus on increasing your testosterone boosting your t- testosterone naturally then the belly fat goes away. Then you lose weight. Then you build muscle. Then you have energy. Then your mood's better. Then your depression's going down. Then your health is much better. Your whole life completely changes. When you think you couldn't change, it completely changes. And, and again, this what you know, I call this a feminizing society. You know, like suppressing testosterone, suppressing being a man. The diets out there are very feminized. You know, a lot of the things are obviously marketing companies women buy more nutrition plans and diets and fitness stuff. So you're going to push it out there, but that's what's out there. So when you see it, you're like, Oh, let me go jump on this diet or low fat or low carb, or let me try the keto and all of these diets that don't support our hormones are always being pushed. And your wife's telling you, Oh, become a vegetarian or do this, like whatever it is. But it's like, we need to focus, move back and focus on testosterone. That's, that's the number one thing. Once we have that focus and once we understand what testosterone does to our bodies and how, again, the byproduct will be that lean ripped abs. I mean, I just had a guy who uh, was on my, in my over 40 alpha brotherhood. That's what we call it. Um, he was just on my podcast. Cause I also get them on my podcast to go through their stories. And his story was he was 300 pounds and at 300 pounds, he wanted to see his abs. That was his number one goal. And he would tell people around him and they'd be like, there's no way it's going to happen, but okay, whatever. Went through the program, continues to go through the program. And now he sees his abs. Wow. And, and it's not, ju- and, and, and it wasn't all about like, you know, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. It was testosterone being the, the forefront of everything. So, um, you know, to, just to back up again, it's just, you know, the suppression of being a man testosterone being the bad villain when it's mm-hmm. our, our hero 
and um, you know, just just settling with settling with. Okay, well, I'm 40 years old and or 50 years old, and this is the way it's supposed to be. So, you know, I'm just going to deal with it. That's a great point that you bring up. This is I see this so often. This is just an accepted decline. And I don't know how this mentality like creeped into society, but the reality is, is I think it's important for us to say, no, we don't have to accept that. Um, what was your own journey? We're going to get into specifics, but how did you come to this yourself? I'm curious to how this happened to you because you're, you're, I'm looking at your thing and I'm like, this guy's a total badass, man. He's like, <laughs> kicks butt, takes names. Right? You know, like, um, like what, like how sucks. is it that a guy like you <laughs> wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't would have your own journey about that. So can you oh, man, I've had two journeys actually. So, um, you know, like I said, I used to be a professional beach volleyball and indoor volleyball player um, for many years. So I was always athletic, but one of the things I always had was a, a belly because I used to drink a lot and party a lot. So, you know, you cannot train a bad diet, so it doesn't matter. You're still going to have it, but I was always jacked. But after I retired, you know, I got to nine to five and I had kids and, you know, you're just kind of like living the home life and trying to get your career going. Mm -hmm. And so, um, as, as you know, you're sitting in front of a computer 10, 12 hours a day, uh, started to eat. I still went to the gym. I even did, did boot camps. I ran boot camps. I had personal training on the side. I was even posting videos on YouTube. But when I reached 39, something happened. Like I was, I was working out six days a week. I was doing the cart 45 minutes of cardio, you know, the stair climber, what have you. I wasn't, I was thought I was eating well, like I didn't eat carbs and, Fats, eating fats wasn't even a thing 10 years ago. Like there wasn't no, like, there wasn't like, oh, you need healthy fats at this. Don't eat fats. That's kind of like what it was about mm -hmm. 10, 11 years ago. So that's what was going on. And, uh, you know, I started to, uh, my mood started to go down. I started to get more depressed. Um, my girlfriend left me because I couldn't, and literally left me because I couldn't satisfy her in bed. That's literally the reason why she left. It's like, you're not giving me sex, man. So I can't help, like, you know, I got to leave you. And so all of that started to play. And here I am posting videos on YouTube, trying to be, you know, I'm the big fitness guy and I can't even take care of myself. I was 215 pounds, I was puffy, out of shape, and I didn't know what was going on. So I went to the doctors, you know, just to figure, I think I went to the doctors for the depression and then we just took, took blood. And uh, he told me that your testosterone levels are super low. And like, how can that be? I'm big and jacked. How can my testosterone levels be low? I'm like, no, nah, man, they're really, really low. He right away wanted to write a script for a testosterone replacement there. And I'm like, no, man, I can't, I'm not going to do that. I need to, you know, I need to figure out what's going on. So I started to research and see what's happening to the bodies at, at 40. And there wasn't a lot of information out there. There still isn't a lot of information out there to tell you the truth for men over 40, but I started to dig and talk to a hormone specialist and, and uh, nutritionist and found that, okay, the nutrition that I'm, that I have right now is not working. I got to eat more fats, eat more carbs, because that's what's going to help with testosterone. And we'll get into that later. My workouts had to change. I was doing the buys and tries back and shoulders. I moved to more metabolic workouts. And you can see this whole transformation on my YouTube page. Um, you know, trying to get more sleep, you know, getting rid of the alcohol and all the, all the, because I even started doing drugs, you know, partying so much. Mm -hmm. I had to get rid of all of that. And once I did that, literally six months later, completely changed, went to 185. I finally had abs because I never had abs, even though I was lean. And um, I was ripped and I was feeling great. And, um, and then I just started to post more metabolic workouts. I didn't really talk more about being 40 because at that time I still thought I was 20, right? Like, right. oh, I'm 40, but I'm really 20. Cause I went to Thailand and I fought Muay Thai cause I'm also, I fought professional Muay Thai before. So I, you know, my mindset in my early forties was I'm still 20, I'm still 30. So that whole 40 year old thing didn't come into play until 40, I think I was 47 years old, 48 years old. I, I came down with what's called crypto organizing pneumonia, which is a, a lung disorder that's very rare. And I had it and the doctors had no clue what it was. So basically what it is, like I couldn't breathe. Like I, I was having a hard wow. time breathing, walking up the stairs. I would be out of breath to the point where I would go 10 feet to the washroom and I would literally take an, a minute to recover from just wow. getting up and walking to the washroom. So to, to make a long story short, the doctors put me into the hospital because they had no clue what it was. And they were like, listen, if you're gonna die, you might as well die here. So everyone was starting to like, this is, this is it. Like no one knows what it is. And they realized it was crypto organizing pneumonia. Well, in order to combat that, they put me on prednisone. 
and um, a very high dosage of it. If you guys don't know what this is, it's a catabolic steroid, which is a prescription that destroys your testosterone, mm -hmm. destroys your hormones, hot flashes, moods, like you get, you, you, burp, you build, get fat, um, belly fat put on weight. It's, 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 a, it's a horrible thing to be on, but it saves my life. Um, at the same time, I really dove into my program, like the nutrition, the, the testosterone boosting nutrition. I was still working out as, as guess, best as I could because, you know, I was getting better in regards to my lungs so I could work out more, but I was using those type of workouts. I was getting more sleep. That just came with the fact that I was on prednisone, but I was getting more sleep. I was literally living my over 40 alpha program while I was on prednisone. And then when I came off prednisone, my testosterone levels both while I was on it was like at nine, like from like it's it's a there's a reading between nine and twenty seven for free testosterone. I was about nine or ten, and when I came off, I was like high thirties, early uh, low forties. And the doctor's like, "What the hell?" Like this is like three months after I came off of prednisone, so I'd already been doing my program, eating well, trying to combat all of the side effects, and then th two months, three months later. I go to the doctor again. He's like, this is unbelievable. How can you have this much testosterone? I'm like, well, I, this is what I was doing throughout. So after I was done, it just kicked in. And um, that's when I, that's when I realized that's when I got the aha moment that, okay, this is, this, this works. This is for this. Now I need to help men over 40. Now I need to help us guys in our forties, fifties, sixties to, to, to focus more on testosterone because the byproduct is a lean body. The byproduct is more energy, better mood, um, better sex life. I mean, you're living like you're in your 20s. So what were the things that you were doing and what are the things that you teach for people when they're, you know, because there's so many guys that have low T. By the way, if you're listening to this podcast, yeah. go out, talk to your MD, doctor, mm -hmm. doctor, get a test and see where you're at. Just if you're not feeling yourself, you find yourself storing body fat, you're like, look, you need to get out of the whatever zone that you're in you need to get hard data because when you see those numbers and look at it i i, I call it i call that that's the come to jesus moment then then, <laughs> then 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 you can't kind of like pass it off and and i think men are just naturally you know i'm just down a little bit that's okay mm -hmm. and years go by and you're suffering and you don't need to suffer and one of the interesting things when you have low testosterone Oftentimes you don't want to take action for yourself because you've got, I'm doing career, I'm doing family, I'm doing all these other things. And you've kind of written it off. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't have that sex drive anymore because I'm, I'm doing the dad thing or I'm doing the career thing or whatever. You, you indicated that. And I, I, I see that very common um, in the conversations when people have low testosterone. So get a test, get it figured out, start getting the data right now. So what did you do and what do you recommend? Yeah. So what I did was first, um, first of all, the mindset, you know, just, just th that's always my number one thing is kind of like, okay, I've got low testosterone. I've now I'm going to focus on testosterone. I'm going to focus on everything to do. Um, so, you know, no matter what, what happens, whether I don't feel like going to the gym or whether I don't feel like eating something, I have to, I've got to be testosterone. I literally became obsessed with testosterone. Um, so I'm going to start with nutrition because that was the key for me. That's the key for everything. You can't train a bad diet. So mm -hmm. the nutrition plan for someone who wants to boost testosterone needs to be, um, it's totally different from what you're thinking or what, not what you're thinking, but what your readers are probably thinking. Listeners are probably thinking. So uh, just in order to understand tes testosterone is produced in the morning. Uh, late at night in the morning, it's produced from the pituitary to your testicles and the precursor to testosterone production is cholesterol, okay, good cholesterol. That's very important to understand because if you don't have cholesterol, good cholesterol getting to your body, through your body, then your testosterone production is not even there. You need that production. So in nutrition, when you're looking at the macronutrients, macronutrients are carbs, fats, proteins, you're looking at fats being the most important macronutrient when it comes to boosting testosterone in your diet. Because like I said, when you have healthy fats, you know, the saturated fats, the monounsaturated fats, those are two you want to stay with. The polyunsaturated and the trans fats you want to stay away from. But that those two have the, the, the cholesterol, the good cholesterol that's needed to help production and testosterone production. So when you're, you know, eating avocados and, you know, olive oil and, and um, you know, nuts and that sort of thing, that's, that's really 
that that's huge. So every time you have a plate of food, there should be a healthy fat, grass fed butter, whatever. The second one is carbs. Carbs are super, 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 super important. Once again, you see all these diets out there, low carb, don't eat carb, whatever it is, you need carbs. But with carbs, there's two types of carbs. There's simple carbs and complex carbs. A lot of people get mixed up with simple good or complex good. I just, I just, what I do is I say simple starts with S, sugar starts with S. So simple, sugar, yep. bad, complex, good. That's all. Like that, that's how I started knowing that. And yep. the complex carbs are when your body doesn't have carbs, there's a few things that happen. The first thing is our bodies need carbs for energy. And so if we don't have, I'm just going to do this, say this in lay ter, layman's yep, terms, please. If you don't have it, then your body sh- starts to go into starvation mode. The, all of the, the, everything, you, everything that happens in your body slows down. Your body's like, oh, I'm not getting any carbs. I'm not getting energy. Okay, I'm going to slow down production, maybe even right. stop production of testosterone. I'm going to slow down my metabolism. I'm going to take that fat and I'm going to store it, store it in the stomach yeah. so that I have it for later. And that protein that you're, you're feeding me, I'm going to use that for energy. I'm going to use that protein. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. everything is totally, you know, when you think, oh, I'm not going to eat carbs, the the whole body's shutting down as well as the thyroid starts to shut down as well, which is the metabolism, which I told you guys need to increase your thyroid. Um, your energy levels naturally go down. Whenever you're in a low carb diet, you always feel your energy levels are down. You have no motivation. Your body needs carbs, but it's the right carbs. So eating things like, you know, sweet potato, steel cut oats, white, wild rice, brown rice, you know, um, um, quinoa, that sort of thing. That's important. So again, when you look at your plate, there has to be a source of carbs. Proteins are important because we need a source of protein with everything that we eat because we don't naturally produce protein. We need an outsourced source of protein. Mm-hmm. But it's not the most important, specifically in our 40s, 50s, 60s. When you're younger, sure. And everything that you read tells you protein, 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 protein. Mm-hmm. But again, it's important. It's the foundation of our, of, our, of our nutrition, but it's not the most important. Too much protein. Protein's got the thermic effect of food, which means your body takes time to, to digest and, and synthesize protein, which is good to a degree. But when you're eating protein for breakfast and then snack and then dinner and then lunch and throughout the day, that, that causes a lot of stress, cortisol, because the body's working, 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 working. And instead of it being effective, your cortisol levels start to rise. And cortisol is a villain of testosterone, which means testosterone production goes down. So although protein's important, it's not the most important. So when you look at a plate, and then, the, and then of course, you know, veggies, fruits should be part of it. So when you look at a plate um, of food, you're looking at a plate and a ratio the ratio, and this is the ratio I start with. Obviously, mm-hmm. it's going to fluctuate depending on whether you want more fat loss or more muscle growth. But 40% carbs, 40% protein, sorry, 40% carbs, 40% fats, 20% proteins, and a ton of vegetables, tons and tons of vegetables. Your plate, I call these my balanced plates, and that makes it very easy for my men. They eat three times a day, uh, lunch, breakfast, di- sorry, breakfast, lunch, dinner, Three times a day, every plate looks kind of like, you know, if they look at it here, like I actually wrote a, drew, drew a picture, but if you look at this, I know you guys are who are not watching. It's like 40% fats, 40% carbs, proteins and vegetables. And if your plate is broken down like this, every time you eat, you know, okay, I've got carbs, I've got fats. I don't, we don't calorie count. I don't, and, and literally it, I have them choose, or what I did was I chose from a list. Right, so here are the good carbs. Here are the three carbs I'm gonna eat this week. Here are the three fats I'm gonna eat this week. Here are the three proteins. Make it super simple and sustainable. So Mm -hmm. that made it very easy for me. The nutrition part became the easiest part of it because it was just simple meal prep, have everything there, and this testosterone starts to boost. Um, The second, the second thing I did was the workouts. So I changed my workouts from bodybuilding style workouts, which were, you know, uh, buys and tries, back and shoulders, that sort of thing, because it was getting really, I was getting injured a lot. It was too much volume for my body. And as we get older, um, when you do three total body workouts, uh, you know, three, three work, total body workouts per week, you're going to get a better results in regards to fat loss, burning fat, building muscle, um, than you would doing, you know, the breaking down from muscle to muscle, right? Because that's mm-hmm. what we want at first. We want to 
burn as much body fat, you know, bot testosterone production happens much better when your body fat's down to 14% or lower. Not, not that we we're going to go from 30 to 14% in 30 days, but the lower your body fat is the more production of testosterone you're going to have. So you want to get your body fat down by doing total body workouts. And at that point I was just doing body weight, dumbbell training, kettlebell training. That's it. And they're all metabolic. And when I say metabolic, it's like HIIT training, but they weren't, I mean, for me, I could still do burpees and a lot of stuff because I was pretty athletic. But for a lot of guys in their 40s, 50s, 60s, that's not a reality, like doing jump squats and doing all that stuff. So joint friendly, but still you want total body workouts, compound movements, multi-joint movements, using dumbbells, sorry, dumbbells, kettlebells, you know, um, a change in the workouts really helped with growth hormones, with testosterone, and not only burning fat during or burning calories during the workout, but also because when you're doing metabolic training, you get the afterburn effect, right? EPOC, which allows you to burn fat or sorry, burn calories, you know, 24 hours after, depending on, you know, how, how hard or how intense it was. So my workouts were really key to adding the nutrition. And then with the mindset nutrition workouts, I finally added recovery, more recovery, more focus on sleep. That was huge for me. Sleep was massive. It still is today. I wear this. I don't get sponsored by these guys, but I wear a whoop, a strap, because that strap is, has an app and it talks about my recovery and my sleep. How much sleep did I get last night? Because even though I was in bed for eight hours, I may only got five hours good sleep, right? And we need a lot. We need seven to nine hours to get, you know, maximum testosterone production, right? In the, in the, because remember, testosterone is produced in the morning. So you need that REM sleep. You need that really good sleep so that your testosterone production is at a high, high level. Um, but when you're not sleeping, you know, you're just, you're hampering that, right? And then your cortisol's mm -hmm. up and, and, um, and so sleep was huge for me and sleep and listen, that's one thing that we can affect right away. You know, we can, we can sleep better and you're going to see less belly fat. You're going to see less body fat right off the bat. Obviously you're not going to get shredded, but that's a huge, huge, obviously energy and everything else. And the other thing was just more recovery stuff. Like, you know, I was doing more cryotherapy and I was floating and I was doing yoga, like a lot of things that, because I want it, I want to be able to work out like this three to four days a week for the rest of my life, like right. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. And the only way to do that is to, to make sure that your joints and your body is recovering at the way it should be. I had to back off on the workouts. No longer was it six days a week. It was more like four days a week. Right. And uh, those recovery days were huge because I would come back ready, hungry to work out. Right. And then I would recover and, and, I found myself, hey man, I've been working out straight every week for a year. Like that's never happened before because I would always be injured. I get a shoulder injury or whatever. Mm -hmm. This is because of the recovery, the nutrition, like all of it put together. But the biggest thing is that's, that's what affects my testosterone. Now my testosterone's, uh, you know, at a high level. Um, production's great and, and, I'm, and my body's like it was when I was in my 20s. That's amazing. Know? That's, a, that's an amazing story. Um, Want awesome health? How about doubling your energy? With our free awesome health course, you can get a new video and lesson every single day for 84 straight days. The course covers everything from optimizing your digestion, nutrient intake, correct health issues, including weight, skin, energy, immune system, and so much more. The course could easily be worth two or $300 for, and yet it's 100% free when you go to buyoptimizer.com. That's B-I-O-P-T-I-M-I-Z-E-R-S.com. Once you're there, just enter your name and email to get the first three phases of the buy optimization report. You'll get the report immediately and begin getting your video lessons each and every day from there on in. And I think that's, I, I see a lot of people, particular in the fitness industry too, that are used to that five and six day workout routines, you know, the body part training, the classical stuff, and then switching to these three, bo three body workouts a week. When you're doing that, um, when the body workouts, what was the focus of those particularly? Like, did you pick one that would be more dominant on like, uh, like how, like just for, tell me the structure of those workouts that you tend yeah. to promote. So a good one would be like a dumb. So if I was doing a total body dumbbell workout, probably start. So I do it for time. So 45 seconds of work, 
followed by 15 seconds rest, one after the other. So start off with uh, goblet squats with a dumbbell. Boom, you do that as many times as you can for 45 seconds, rest for 15, and then I move on to bent over dumbbell um, uh, rows. So bent over rows with two dumbbells in my hand to hit the back. So first I hit the, the, the lower body, then I hit the back. After those 45 seconds, I'll either jump on a bench or if I'm at home, I'll jump on the floor and do chest press. Boom, boom, you know, and you're doing as many reps as you possibly can. You're also, I'm also challenging myself with the, with the weight. I'm not using 20 pounds the whole time. I'm, you know, grabbing, okay, I'm going to try 40s, uh, you know, and go for 45 seconds. And then if I have right. to drop them and go to 30s, I will. And then uh, from there, I'd move to bi maybe bicep curls or some type of a curl variation. Then I would do 45 seconds of a tricep exercise and then finish off with 45 seconds of a shoulder exercise and then an ab. And that would be one round. So that round would take seven minutes, rest for a minute, and do that three times. So I'm in and out of the gym in 25 minutes. Amazing. Of course, you have a warm up and a, and a um, you have a warm up and a stretch afterwards. But that workout in itself is is very intense because again, I'm always challenging myself with weight. Right. Even though I'm going as fast as I can, I I'm, I'm not I'm not going slow. This is not about slow. It's about burning as much. The the work intensity has to be a little bit. Um, higher. But um, when you do that for 25 minutes, you're, you're done. You're done. You know what I mean? You're mm -hmm. done. And that's, that's one with dumbbells. You can do the same type of setup with just body weight or with kettlebells, but that's kind of the, the metabolic workouts that I prescribe to. Cause you don't have to worry about, you know, counting reps. And a lot of times people worry about counting reps and they don't focus on the intensity of the exercise or am I doing this right? You know, the, or the mind muscle connection. It's all about reps one two three when there's a time limit you're all you're focusing on is okay make sure you can feel the chest you know my right. right over my head right you know, that's the kind of things that go through your mind or i just got to get through this this is hurting me you know what i mean mental toughness yeah totally no i think that's a really big thing okay so then you got a dumbbell workout what's another one that you might throw in there um so maybe uh like a uh i'll do uh every, uh like an every minute on the minute type thing where I'll do, you know, kettlebell swings and burpees. So I may do 10 kettlebell swings and six burpees, right? Um, and then, so every minute on the minute, so every minute you start off for 15 minutes. So every minute you start off with six, the 10 kettlebell swings, heavy kettlebell swings to get that power and explosiveness and athletic. Um, and then, you know, I would finish off with burpees. Burpees is a total body metabolic yeah, workout. Those are tough. I love them, man. I love them. That's like my, I'm known for, I'm the burpee king. I'm known for burpees. So um, and then after that, as fast as you do that, you rest. And so let's say I did both those exercises in 30 seconds, I would get to rest for 30 seconds or because I'm a fighter, I may, you know, shadow box for 20 seconds of that 30 seconds and then boom, hit it again. 10 kettlebell swings, six burpees and do them as fast as I can. So as you know, you want to try to finish up. If you did it in 30 seconds, the first round, you want to try to do it in 30 seconds in the 15th round because you're doing it for 15 minutes. Obviously, it's hard to do that because you're tired, you're right. fatigued. But again, it's just it's just getting um, getting a, an efficient amount of work done, total body work done in a short period of time. Uh, so you're not spending all that time in the gym, and you can and you can warm up and stretch and you know do any ab and core afterwards to get the core and abs. You know that's another big thing for me is is ab and core strength as well. That's really great. I think that's uh, some really savvy advice, and I think a lot of guys, you know, especially the gym rats like us, we, we want to continue to grind away. Like you said, thinking like I'm 20, yeah, and you have to think like a 40 year old. Um, and and I, I also like the way you divided up the plate into the 40, 40 and 20. I, I'm assuming with the other veggies, that's like the cruciferous vegetables or things Yeah, like yeah. So for me, it's been, I eat a lot of spinach, spinach salads, you know, mm -hmm. asparagus, whatever, but, but that you can eat a ton of, like that's, you should, yeah. your plate, your plate should be more of that than anything right. else. Right. And the cruciferous vegetables also have a positive effect on lowering estrogen levels as well. Absolutely. So. Well, the thing with nutrition too is, sorry, I, I should have mentioned this. My, when I, when I teach nutrition, I teach the, about the micronutrients. I don't really teach about the macros. The macros is what sets up the ratio. But unless you understand what the micronutrients that each of these foods have and how they play in your hormones, like 
selenium and magnesium, of course, loves magnesium, <laughs> zinc, um, you know, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin B, um, you know, a boron, like those are micronutrients that you're getting in the foods that you're eating that will boost your testosterone, right? Which so are really it's, important. It's, yes. Particularly zinc, that zinc selenium yes. magnesium combination. Oh. It's almost everybody's deficient in those. And that's uh, really important for, you know, jacking up the luteinizing hormone, which activizes testosterone levels yes. right there, right? Beautiful. Love it. Uh, and you talked about recovery things, cryo, yoga, and floating. I love all those. Oh, you want to talk, explain to you, how do you work yoga in particularly? What, is there any particular style or type that you like? Um, yeah. Jump into that. <clears throat> I love it. Um, so we, I actually partnered with a friend of mine who's a yogi. Um, she does their, I, I can't remember what, the, what it's called, but I asked her to actually create a yoga style. Because what was happening was I would go to yoga class at the gym and I would go in the back and there would be like, a t it, just, it just be too fast for me. Right. Right. Like all that fast. flow stuff. That, I know many, I'm the same way. There's too I'm like, many moves. I can't keep up. Yeah. But I, I still went because I could, I, for me, I like to see my, my uh, tr a transformation or, you know, I want to see myself get better. So I still went, but you know, for me, it was like, okay, well, this is, this is great and everything. And then I partnered with her and said, you know, can you create these yoga flows for my guys? And again, they were like 30 moves and there's 30 minutes. And it was very hard for most men at 40, 50, 60 have never done yoga right. or maybe they did it 30, 20 years ago, but right. yoga is not in the, in the, but it's so important. Like it's amazing for the, for meditation and, and breathing and just um, balance and, and core strength and, you know, flexibility and mobility. So I asked her to just do 15 minute yoga flows using five moves only. And that's it. And doing those moves over and over again. And so I do them at home. I do those if it's a full body stretch or if it's a, a back release or if it's a, you know, a, a hip mobility those are, that's what I do. So there's no real name to it. It's just the flows that, um, that she is used to, but I so asked her to kind of like make alpha it yoga. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Because it's, and these guys love it because it's only 15 minutes. So that's the key. Right. And I get, have them do it on, uh, on their off days. I say, okay, this is your rest day, but let's do a yoga flow on this rest day. Yeah. Right. Or, you know, if it, here's a bonus Saturday so on Saturdays, I like these guys to do something else, like an active rest day, go out, go for a walk, play a sport that you love. What's happening with a lot of these guys in, in the over 40 alpha program is like they're re they're, they're falling back in love with sports or activities that they love to do because now they can do it. Right. And so for me, it's the same thing. Like Muay Thai is huge for me. I'm 50 years old. I'm going to be going to Thailand in April and I'm going to train and probably fight in Thailand, but wow. I can't do that unless I have yoga. That's huge for me because I need the recovery. I need my cardio and conditioning. So I use my HIIT training. Nutrition is huge because of inflammation. And of course, just lowering my, my body fat, uh, you know, fueling my workouts, helping my recovery. And then, um, you know, training Muay Thai, right? Training with these young cats. Beautiful. The, a couple of things um, I'd like to touch on too in regards to this and recovery modalities and cryo and floating. I live literally 600 feet away from a float place oh, God, and, I, God. and it's a five minute walk from my full body cryo uh, oh, down here in Venice at full about. So, that's awesome. um, and I know there's another fellow we've had on the podcast, Jason Ferugia, and he talks about cryo. He, he, he has all of his older guys that come in do 30 days straight of cryo to remove the inflammatory markers. You just go cryo every day and then you just kind of maintain after that. Right. What's been your experience with cryo? Um, and for those who don't know, this is like you, use the, you go into a kind of a, uh, a stand up, almost like a tanning bed. Mm -hmm. And there's some that have your head open and now they have the yeah. new ones with the head closed. Okay. I go to oh. Bulletproof Labs down here in Venice Beach, which is great. They got the full body head in takes you down to a boat, uh, they use nitrogen that takes you down to in the, in the mid minus 200. So Ooh. 220 to 240. And you're in there for three minutes. They put socks and, yep. and, 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 and sand things gloves. on. You put gloves and, and, and little things on your ears so you don't get frostbite. And uh, it's extremely invigorating, but what it does for inflammation is incredible. What's been your experience with cryo and, and what got you into it? And, and how does it fit in for somebody that's maybe going down this route? 
Yeah, so for me, cryo was good for uh, my post when I was training uh, Muay Thai or training MMA or training, you know, because uh, uh, the damage again, you take, it's, right? It's the damage you take, the the constant like you know kicks or punches or whatever. The inflammation is just gonna happen. So for me, it was okay. What's the best? What what are some of the ways I can do it? Well, when I'm in Thailand, it's an ice bath. Bath. That's what we do because that's just kind of you know the. You go to the ice, ice baths and you jump in it. But, um, you know, here in Toronto. How long would you stay in an ice bath anyway? Oh, it's just like 30 seconds. I mean, right. and then out for like two minutes and then for 30 seconds, out for two, three minutes. There's guys in there that do it for a minute, but I'm just, I'm just, listen, I'm, I just want to get, yeah, I just, just, just want the it. result. I'm not into yeah, masochism. Man, I'm not right. trying to break record. There are guys who go, because it's in a public place and there's cross, a lot of crossfitters go to this place right. in Thailand. So, Right. They go in and they try to like beat each other. I'm like, no, nah, man, I'm, I'm good with that. But right. here we don't have ice baths, um, you know, available like we do there. So, um, yeah, for me, it's just the cryo helped with getting that inflammation, getting my recovery a lot quicker. Um, you know, again, it costs money. So constantly doing it over and over again, along with all the other stuff, um, you know, it's just time, time consuming and cost. But it's, it's very good. Like, I don't do it as much as I used to. I do floating more. Um, I don't do the cryo as much as, as I used to, but I may start back because now I'm back into a, a full train. Well, you live in Toronto. You can just walk outside and get Yeah, cryo. well, exactly. I could. I could literally <laughs> just walk outside and have my own cryo. But <laughs> Beautiful. But I like it. It's, it's great. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's important. Once you kind of get into that zone where you're good, then you can reduce a lot of these things. I always like you turn it up and then get the result and then you kind of maintain Talk about floating to me because uh, it's, oh, what's, what's that been for you? And for those who don't know, floating is really got popular thanks to Joe Rogan. Talked Thank a you, lot Joe. about it. Yeah, thanks, love Joe. You, buddy. <laughs> um, but floating's been around for a long time. Frank Zane uh, used to have what he called the insane experience. And these are their sensory deprivation tables. You go into a float tank, it's a tank that you can kind of go into. Some of them are relatively small some like the ones i go to in venice is like a walk-in it's like you walk into this thing oh, wow. and they put about you know 1200 pounds of salt magnesium yeah. salt yeah. in this and you float you literally get in it and your body is just floats and you're you experience this this weightlessness which is extremely relaxing on the nervous system so yeah talk to me about floating for you and what it's been how it's done how it's worked and all that yeah I mean, floating has been a game changer for me in all, all aspects of my life. Not just, you know, I thought at first when I was going to go, when I was going to float, it was going to be more for recovery for my body to recover. And uh, I soon realized that, you know, floats are about an hour and a half to two hours and you're in there and literally the brain starts activating. And like, I remember the first time I was in there, I, I was, I was just before I was about to do a, a, a certification, like to create a certification. And I literally felt like I wrote the whole certification inside my brain while I was floating. Like I came out like feeling incredible. Um, you know, just the body feels good. You feel rejuvenated. My mind felt great. It's like, it's like, um, you know, way back in the day I used to do ecstasy and that feeling of love and just right. happiness and energy after you did it. I mean, yep. that's the only thing that I can relate it to right. because I remember when I walked out the first time with my wife, I'm like, man, I feel freaking amazing like i feel so smart but then there's times when i go in and i'll just fall asleep and there's wow. times when i'll go in and my mind's just really going like all right. over the place but right. my body still feels relaxed right my body still feels rested mm. relaxed even though the mind can play you know it's not a negative experience i, I always love going there because before i have a big um you know a big project to do i'll go in and see if if anything comes out of it for my mind uh, but the body allows me to relax, allows me to chill. Again, I don't do it as much as I used to before. But, you know, when I'm in this mode of, of training for Muay Thai, that's when I add all of these. Because on a regular basis, you know, as long as I sleep, as long as I have my yoga, as long as I do some mobility work, ab and core, do these workouts, nutrition, I'm fine. I don't have to add some of these other things. But now that I'm in a, in, a, in a place where the intensity of training is very high, I'm 50 years old. So my recovery is not like it, even though I'm, I feel like a super 50 year old man, it's realistically, I'm 50. It's not, the recovery is not as well as it was when I was like 20. So I need to add elements like, you know, cryotherapy if I need to, or, you know, heading to, to, to floating once a week 
just to speed up the recovery process so that I can continue to train. Because when it boils down to it, at this age, it's all about recovery. It's all about, because if you can't recover, then you won't be able to train, you won't be able to work out, you won't be able to stay strong. If you can recover, the more you can recover, the more you can sustain your workouts without injury, without uh, you know breaking down. Um, and that's what you want. You want us to exercise for the rest of your life, three to four times a week, you wanna have that exercise. And then on those other days, you wanna do mobility stuff, maybe some ab and core stuff, maybe something that you love, but it's all about that recovery. So nutrition's key, recover, sleep is key. Um, anything, go, if you, if you work at a place that gives you um, like physiotherapy, not physiotherapy, uh, 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 massage therapy and that sort of thing, like a, lot of, a lot of places, it's, it's part of the package. Oh, you get this much off massage therapy, but guy, men don't generally use all that stuff. Right. They think, totally. oh, why would I use that? No, use and abuse the crap out of it. Use and abuse the crap out of it. That's like, that's huge. It's a gold mine for your recovery. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna have more energy. Your testosterone levels are gonna be, um, you know, invigorated. Like use all of that stuff in order to help you with recovery, with feeling better, with mentally being on point, with sustainability, with workouts and decreasing injury, use and abuse everything you can when it comes to recovery. I love it. So um, <clears throat> before we get uh, wrap up, I'd like for you to kind of talk about this group that you've created that's helping men. So if you've been listening to this podcast, and you're like, you know, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get dialed into this tell me about the group and what you're doing out there i think it's a great thing and i encourage people to get in there and get that support that you need when you're out there you know dying in the estrogen wilderness <laughs> you know? exactly. I love right? It. all right so tell me about this group the site how to get access all that sort of stuff yeah so thank you so much for that yeah this this has been a game changer for for myself and for these men it's called over 40 alpha if you go to over 40 alpha.com there's a 30-day free trial but what i've done was i took all the information that i had and i created uh, a membership group uh over 40 alpha brotherhood that has all the pillars i teach you know mindset first because that's the number one thing what is your why what is going to get you through those tough times what's going to keep you self-motivated so that's really the start then i teach uh nutrition so very easy to follow nutrition plan that these guys follow um they have workouts follow along workouts that i give them um where's my phone Where's it? follow along workouts that i give him them uh, and then recovery stuff. So the yoga, the, the um, you know, how to sleep, better sleep. So basically it's a, I call it one year, we call it one year to alpha. It's 12 phases. So every phase has follow along workouts that you can do at home, either body weight or dumbbells. So you don't need any, anything. You don't need to go to the gym. You can just click on play and literally you're fall. I'm there with you, training with you, struggling with you. So, you know, it's like you have a, you definitely have a coach and a training workout partner. Um, and then, so every month you have different, you know, phase one is fat loss. Phase two is muscle building because sarcopenia is something that, so natural, natural loss of muscle. So we got to attack that too. You know, month three is, is, is shred. So every month is a different focus. Uh, theme yeah and yeah, so cool. every month has workouts nutrition pretty much stays the same so we keep that very simple you just choose from the foods that you want um recovery and so on and so forth we have a support group that this is the game changer so i just talked to someone um you know a, uh, someone from the group and this is a game changer is the support i do coaching every week um, the support that these guys have it's not just about oh look at me lifting 20 pounds more it's they post their wins, they post their losses, they post their foods, they post things that are happening in their lives, they post like pictures of them and their wives. Like it's it's such a, and they, people are like meeting up with each other in the UK, like it's all over the world. It's incredible because it's the only place where men can actually go and like feel that they have support. You know, one guy had two deaths in one week and he talked about how this program and the fact that he was, you know, he had good energy and he was able to get through it. But after the week was over, he needed to dump all that information. He needs to get it out and there was nowhere else he could do it, but in the support group. And we were like, yeah, we hear you, you know, it's amazing. So I get goosebumps when I talk about it because it's like, these guys are unbelievable, man. It's like, you get 40, 50, 60 year old men, like just 
talking to each other and helping each other out and motivating each other and new guys come in and they're like, Oh, uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm kind of cutting down my carbs and all the other guys will come in. No, no, don't cut your carbs. You gotta, you know, you know, you gotta, you gotta trust the process. So it's a really good group. And then, you know, we, they can access everything through an app and, and everything, but, but, but the key is the support, right? Like you're going to come in, you're going to you get 30 days free over 40 alpha.com. You're going to come into this group and you're going to, you're going to know that you're, you have all the support. The workouts are easy to follow, follow along. The nutrition's easy to follow. I'm always there every week. We do a video um, coaching call. So I'm, I'm always answering questions in there. I'm always posting. It's a true community. You know, we've got about 3000 men in the brotherhood and about 700 of them are on the Facebook group. Always trying to get them more, but it's unbelievable, man. It's, 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 it's truly a brotherhood. There's a guy who got a tattoo an over 40 brotherhood tattoo. That's how amazing it is. That, that, that's super amazing. Um, Mark Roberts, you funk. had to get out of the funk by getting into the funk. <laughs> that's right. And uh, we're going to put all the show, uh, the links in here into the show to go there. Check out this club. You know what? 30 day free trial. What a deal. Yeah. I mean, days. listen, if people are out there suffering, uh, you're feeling it. You're not feeling yourself. You're feeling that body fat creeping up. You're feeling that sex drive going down and you, you've written it off to family or you've written it off to career or getting older responsibilities. Stop that crap. Go talk to the funk. Get out of your funk. Get into this one. Join his group and uh, just knock low testosterone out of the ring. Totally. So, exactly. Uh, Give it a nice elbow, a nice knee. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Uh, Mark, thanks so much for joining us today. I really appreciate so it. Um, you know, it's just a delight to know that you're out there on the, on the ground, 3000 guys out there helping. What a, what an impact you're making. And I hope that more people who are listening, you know what, put your ego aside, click on that link. Yeah. It'll be the best decision you ever made. Thank you so much. I appreciate being on the show. I appreciate all of your listeners and, and watchers and I appreciate you, Wade. You're amazing. Thank you so much for, uh, for giving me this platform. I appreciate it. Funk, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Thanks. Want awesome health? How about doubling your energy? With our free awesome health course, you can get a new video and lesson every single day for 84 straight days. The course covers everything from optimizing your digestion, nutrient intake, correct health issues, including weight, skin, energy, immune system, and so much more. The course could easily be worth two or $300 for, and yet it's 100% free when you go to buyoptimizer.com. That's B-I-O-P-T-I-M-I-Z-E-R-S dot com. Once you're there, just enter your name and email to get the first three phases of the buy optimization report. You'll get the report immediately and begin getting your video lessons each and every day from there on in. Thank you for listening to the buy optimizers. Awesome health podcast. You can find more information at buyoptimizers.com. optimizers.com.